We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. With trousers on. With trousers on, and we only got 10 minutes. Why do we only have 10 minutes, babe? So I got a consultation soon. Okay, so we got 10 minutes. And guess what happened just the other day? We got a message from YouTube saying that we have been awarded to go over 15 minutes. Wow, what does it mean? It means we can do videos for longer than 15 minutes now. How long? That's the crazy thing they didn't say. Wow, they just want us to experiment and find out. I was like looking all over for it. There was no links or anything. They just said you could do over 15 minutes now. And I'm like, what? Okay, but what? Maybe it's 29 minutes. Does anybody know the answer? To the okay, we're always giving the tips and recipes. Now we want to get a bunch of tips today. Oh, it's a roll reversal. Roll reversal. Tip number one. How long can we do YouTube videos for? I posted below. That just reminded me. This is episode number 600, isn't it, Bubba? That's kind of exciting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. That's kind of like almost two years of videos if we were doing one every day, isn't it? That's true. That's crazy. What else do we want them to give us tips about? Okay, so we've got a situation, everybody. Two times a day, Cherry, our baby horse, pees in the horse's food bowls, the other, the older horse's food bowls. He does it every single time. When there's food in there, even, or when they're done. Well, usually when there's just like little bits left in their bowls, right? It's like they've eaten most of it. So it's let's go pee in their bowl now? <laughs> she just thinks he's doing it because he's a comic. He's got a personality. I think he's a comedian. I asked my friend about it, who's been around horses all her life, and she said she'd never heard of a horse doing stuff like that. She said maybe it's something to do with the territory, you know, like marking his territory. But it's funny because he does it mostly in his mum's food bowls. He waits until she's finished or she's mostly finished her food, and then he just urinates in her food bowl. Or when we put, like, a bunch of alfalfa on the ground, he just goes and pushes it and starts peeing on the alfalfa for the horses. I think it's kind of funny. When he first started to do it, I was like, oh, that's kind of odd. And then he did it again and again and again and again and again. I was like, oh, okay. He actually means to be doing that. So... Your thoughts, tips, and opinions, please. Why is Mr. Cherry Star currently just over two months old urinating in everyone else's food bowls? What's that all about? Oh, I had another thing I would like to ask the nice people. Tip number three for you to give us. Um, the horses get ticks Talk. on them. Sucking their blood, and it's really unpleasant. And we'd like for that to not be happening for them. What kind of tips do you guys know for um, not having ticks on the land? We have some things to put actually on the horses, like neem products and stuff like that. Um, but we've heard that there's ways to get them off the land, like having guinea fowl. Apparently, um, they're really great at eating the ticks. We're just not really sure if we want to have guinea fowl running around. So what other tips do you guys maybe know? Someone else said neeming the whole land. Neem's a bit tricky to find around here though, so I'm not sure about that one. And we've got a lot of land here to neem. So what do you guys think? It's not the really big problem. It's not the really What's that music playing? Is that from town? I don't know, maybe. If you guys can hear the music. It sounds like it's right outside. It's very loud. It's Friday night, isn't it, Baba? But we never hear that. It's like so quiet out here always. Maybe it's like preparing for Christmas. Ah, something's going on. One time. This is the second time we've heard music. Okay, wasn't there something else we wanted to get tips for? 
maybe they can tell us some recipes. I would like some other raw recipes for using aubergine, eggplant. Because there's all this eggplant here and we don't really eat it. We don't know how to eat it. All we know how to do is make intestinal plant. <laughs> um, we gave all of that stuff to our workers because we didn't really like it. They like it. They call it berenjena in Spanish. They very much like the berenjena. Baba. Okay, everybody. So everybody's all excited about Angela's little song she did and how she's going to be a pop star, and I wasn't even involved in it. <laughs> so I made a song of my own. And maybe I could sing it for everybody. Yes. Oh man. She was got a bum. Baba. She was got a bum. Gila's got a bum and she went to the store today. Gila's got a bum. Got a bum. Don't be just be gone. She's got a bum. It's all cool. Her daddy has one too. The whole world's begun to song Cause Gila's got a bum Baba And she went to the store and had a giggle chop today Baba Gila's got a bum Nah Maybe everybody will start linking to that, to this. <laughs> and start talking about how good that song was. Yummers. Yummers, boy. Thank you, boy. Mm. Baba? Yep. Someone asked a question. Yes. They asked, did Mr. Monarch propose? Yes, I proposed. Better tell us more. Baba. Where were you? You know where I was. Baba! I was on the middle of the street. <laughs> in a, on a sidewalk. Where? In a different country. Which one? Gila. Baba. Was it England? It was England. It was England! It was England! What day was it, Bubba? Mm. See, this is the stuff they asked you when we were trying to get her citizenship, and like I'm supposed to remember these things. And then they get me in trouble. It was like the lady was there sitting there, like, "Oh, when was your wife? When did you propose to her? What day?" And I'm looking at her. She's like heating up, and she's like laughing, and I'm just like, <laughs> "What the?" Oh no! It was August the 3rd, wasn't it? It was August the 3rd. I knew what it was. It was a week before Gina's birthday. It was a week before Gina's birthday. What a nice birthday present. What inspired the nice man to propose? She's got a bum. 
a response. <laughs> Hence the new song, I yeah. suppose. Ooh. It's like a horn tie. It's a nice little tie, isn't it? Did I get on my knee, Bob? He did get on his knee, yeah. That's right. In the street lights. In the street lights, it was Jeanette. nighttime. In England, in Sussex. At Jeanette? Did she say yes? Yeah. Ooh. We might get a little bit of a kiss. Bye-bye. Woo! Bye-bye? Oh, it's been 10 minutes. But don't we want to test out the 15-minute thing? Baba! And who do we got there? Angela Stokes, Monarch. And Matt Monarch, rocking the house, coming up with new songs daily. Asking for tips. Asking for tips. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.